Welcome to the Open Adex How to Video Series. This video is sponsored by Edgenex and presented by Juan Camilo Montoya, CEO. Dropdown is a type of multiple choice single select problem in which the possible answers are arranged in a drop down selector. From your unit in Studio, select the problem component and when prompted for the problem type, choose drop down and hit the select button. There are two editing modes for building these basic problems. The first one is the default mode, which provides a simple and intuitive user interface. First, you can change the name of your problem component at the top. Next, you find the question section, where you can type and style the question with the visual text editor, including images, hyperlinks, and more as needed. Select the phrase that best represents your question and tag it with the label button so that this phrase is used to reference this specific problem. Next, there is the answer section, where you can add the text for each possible option and select the option that is correct for the learner to choose. In this case, you can only mark one option as correct. For each possible choice, you can use the icon on the right-hand side to add a feedback message that is shown to the learners when they select that choice. In the bar on the right, you will find some additional options you can leverage to fine-tune your problem. The scoring card will let you set the number of attempts allowed and the points this question will grant when correct. You will be able to add one or more hints for the learner to view before submitting the answer. If you expand this section to see some more advanced settings, you can specify when the correct answer can be seen by learners. You can provide a text with an explanation for learners to understand the correct answer. And finally, you can specify the minimum acceptable time between consecutive attempts. The second editing mode is the advanced editor, which can be accessed by saving the problem first and then editing and clicking on this button in the corner. This will convert the problem to XML and HTML, so it will not be possible to access the simple editor anymore. But the advantage is that the XML format allows more flexibility to build the problem and configure advanced options. This type of problem doesn't have some of the advanced options a single select problem will have, such as shuffling or partial credit. So check out the documentation to learn more about the advanced options that are available. After your problem is all set, you can use the Studio View to quickly test the problem or preview it in the LMS to verify the appearance and the behavior before publishing it. 